as God was preparing me with different skills, I didn't really realize that he was putting me on a mission. And as I gained these welding and fabrication skills, then I had the opportunity to restore life back into this airboat that was gonna be buried in the swamps. God birthed in me to do a documentary about this boat. You need to film it and do a documentary. So to do that, this is God's project now. Everything has to be brand new again. So build a new fiberglass boat, all fiberglass. Build a new frame, videoed myself at times working on it, doing everything new. And I had the propeller inspected. And they told me it's safe. Even though it's 22 years old, that propeller is safe to run. Now, see, God will give you wisdom. I said a prayer one day. Had the motor craned in, everything ready to start it up again to do the project of filming this and doing a documentary. I said a prayer. I said, Heavenly Father, You've blessed me all these years for 22 years. You've kept me safe. This, this project's 22 years old, 22 years running the boat. The propeller's 22 years old. And I said, Lord, I've got grandchildren now, other people associated with me. Approximately a month later, across the state of Florida, I was filming for U.S. Airboat Magazine and a businessman walked up to me and he said, are you Ken Zeifer? And I said, yes, sir, I am. Never met this gentleman before in my life. He said, well, I'm Don Rowell, general manager of Setsnick Propeller Company. He said, I want to do something for you. And I said, well, sir, what's that? I want to build you a brand new propeller and give it to you. God has a destiny for all of us. And I didn't know it at the time, but what had happened was, as I look back, he was guiding me on a path. 